guys so i don't know if you can hear me so there's work going outside and my music is on but i said let me come on here like since you guys probably go and get a snippet of the fact that i'm having a baby or had a baby depending on how i post it um i'm just going to show you me kind of nesting because i stopped working now so i'm about to start nesting as they would say get the house together um so this is how i start my day well i start my day a good while now um currently moving stuff around because a lot of things have happened which i'll update you guys on before you see this video um so yeah i'm getting breakfast so i'm making tuna sandwich and a jam sandwich and then i'm going to also do my smoothie I have my smoothie stuff there or yeah juice whatever you want to call it because smoothie has milk in it right guys i don't know I don't know the difference. Well, it's a fruit smoothie without any milk. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I'll show you a little bit more later. I'm going to repaint these. I started, um, what do you call it? Sanding down that one. So they're brown, stained brown right now. And then I'm gonna paint them blue. Not blue, black. And have a hint of blue on the sides of the drawers. No mind my cat, she does have no manners. But yeah. That's the plan for that. So yeah. Alright guys, hi guys. Um, this video is going to be a hella choppy. Um, you guys just saw a little preview of my project that I'm doing. I didn't finish it that day. I was just showing you guys the first step. Because I'm not going to do it all in one day. As I said, I'm pregnant and I'm nesting. So I have to take it in stages. Um, so today is a different day. And I'm actually reorganizing um what we call a closet or linen closet or something like that uh where i'm organizing or um curtains and or comforters and sheets so what i'm doing right now is what i wanted to show you so if you guys have like comforters you know that they come in this clear thing but if it is that, and you can do this for your sheet as well. If it is that you disposed of that clear um, packaging that the comforters come in, I'm going to show you a little way to save space and to organize things better. And as I said, you can do it with a sheet. Um, let me just say it. So what you can do is fold your comforter up as tightly as possible and then you stuff the the comforter in the pillowcase so for example like this one here this is the comforter and i stuff it in the pillowcase with the other the other pillowcase so with some comforters out here in jamaica i don't know if they do this abroad they come with the pillows as well so i have one over there i'm going to show you in a second i have one over there that is like that um what you can do is stuff the pillows the comforter in one in one pillowcase and then stuff the the ornamental pillows or whatever you want to call them those decorative pillows like the i'm going to show you in a second um in the other pillow and then you can um store them like that um if you have the plastic it's even better you can do it like that and that's what i'm going to show you i have the plastic for the one that i'm going to show you but i'm still going to do this what you call it space saving tip that i'm giving you guys um so all right let me just show you guys what i'm saying or what i'm talking about and you can understand and as i said 
these videos are going to be very PC because it's not like a full day I'm going to be vlogging. I'm just showing you what I'm doing over the period of time, nesting and getting my house ready. Um, in a sit down and get ready with me or with a sit down talk chit chat video. I'm going to tell you, your guys are going, going to know all what's been going on because obviously I'm not just going to put up this video and you guys be like, but where were you? <laughs> you just come out and tell we say you're pregnant and so I'm going to tell you where I am. So you'll see that before this one, but let's get to sh showing you how to save some space. So yes, I'm working on the ground. You might see a little bit of a dirty spot. Please excuse that. As I'm saying, I'm really trying to get the house in order for the baby so this is actually an empty room because we did some moving around and emptied out this room but anyways this is the comforter so these are the pillowcase this is the comforter and then you have these decorative pillows so you see how stuff that was I'm going to show you how to like condense this I'm actually going to try and fit a curtain that goes along with this set into this clear thing and this is the clear thing i'm talking about if you have this you can just store it like how that was stored but i want to add the curtain to this so i'm just going to try and condense it a little bit more so i'm going to show you how so you're going to fold this up put it in this in the pillowcase put those in the pillowcase as well and then put the curtain in the pillowcase as well so i'm going to show you how condensed it got because as you can see it was stuff and i couldn't hold anything else in there so i'm going to show you when i'm finished how condensed or smaller it got all right guys so this is the end result and what is in here now is the comforter the two pillowcases the decorative pillows and four sets of curtains so you guys see how dense that it is and all you can see are the two pillowcases because everything is stuffed in both of them and then i just put put it in there so if you have the case you just store the case and that's it that's how you guys can condense all your stuff so you guys hear how winded i am I have those to do and don't mind the walls they need to be painted um so yeah that's the next thing I'll be painting this room white no I'm, I'm not sure but I'm thinking white for now um so yeah I have these to put away I did these as you guys can see behind me did all of these and I'm going to finish up. So yeah, that's Hi guys. So it's so I want to paint shop. I'm putting it on my vlog. I'm doing a baby vlog. You hear? I'm putting it on my vlog. Vlog on YouTube. I'm doing a baby vlog of the stuff that I'm doing to get ready for the baby. To get what? Ready for the baby. Oh, this is a read. That was like a long time. No. What are you So yeah, I'm picking paint and stuff. Not technically. Yes, technically. Yes. <laughs> Hi guys, so we started the process of painting the room. Um, this is the color that I chose. This is a bluish gray and it's going to be the accent color of this room. For the other wall, I'm going to have a light white blue. It has a, it's a white with a hint of blue in it. So that's the other color. When we start or when we finish that process, I'll show you guys. But that's it for this room. This totally white room is going to have 
some life, some color in it. And then um, I think this will be the best film. I'm not sure you're going to be in the premiere. But you guys will see the process of what I'm doing in my nesting process at that same. And you guys saw when I was at the paint shop with Dad. I was picking out the paint and the, the, the lovely young lady helped me to pick these colors. Because I really wasn't sure what I wanted. So yeah, you guys continue watching to see the finished product of this film. All right, guys. So I finished painting. You're not, you guys, not going to see it because it's becoming dark here. Um, but I, I ran on the road real quick to get some stuff. Um, but this is the colors. This is the accent wall, the gray. Um, as I said, I'll show you guys. I tell you guys how this is the bluish white. It's called. Um, Olympic or Olympia white or something like that and this is some sort of gray I'll tell you guys the the names a later date um, I got to spin around the camera and then show you guys what it looks like all right so this is what the room is looking like as of now yeah I still have the painting stuff down a little bit and this is something that a DIY I just did so that I can refresh my plug walls and stuff like that because these looked dingy um, so I just sprayed them um, silver and I'm going to put them back on the wall so yeah that's what I'm doing for this room the other room I'm thinking because I got a Kneesberry color to go with the, the the turquoise in that room um, But I think I'm, I'm going to put the This color in that room and return that Kneesberry color because I'm liking this color. I think it will look nice with the color Let me show you guys All right, so my room is a mess right now All right, so this it's a turquoise that I'm telling you right now it's purple and turquoise so I'm thinking to put that Olympic white in here with this color I think it would bring out this color a little bit more and then I'm going to repaint this color because this color is looking quite awful right now and yeah gonna change my curtains and stuff and this color needs to go it's it's too dark in here now so I'm thinking to do that and return the Kneesberry color because I'm thinking it probably be too dark and I probably use it as an accent color in the living room since it's off white in the living room probably put this white in that Kneesberry color but I'm looking sweaty and looking horrible because I've been painting um, but as I said as I go along I'll show you guys the process of me the stuff that I'm doing to nest um, so yeah I still haven't finished the paint the painting of the side tables I think I'll be doing that this week because my dad is actually taking time to help me because he's hella busy and hubby has no time because right now he's at work and he's always working um, so I'm thankful for dad for helping me like he doesn't even know how much I appreciate that um, so this is the color for now from that fully white room to a bluish white to a gray I'm loving it so far we probably have to do some touch-ups here and there because I'm seeing a few splotches of white coming through the blue but the gray is good because I painted that <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of a perfectionist these days with painting as, as according to my dad because he actually taught me But yeah That's the process so far. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't mind the Appearance I'm gonna come talk to you guys in a full face of makeup, but this is how Real it gets when we doing these nesting projects and stuff like that. So yeah Alright guys.